Hey, and welcome back to Wild Mythology. I welcome you to the channel with bread and salt. For today's video, we're going to cover some of the mythical creatures, monsters, and cryptids from North America. But before we get to that, don't forget to join this month's mythology giveaway for Neil Gaiman's book on Norse mythology, an awesome 300-page book filled with the most famous gods and creatures from the Norse myths. All you have to do to join our giveaway is subscribe and leave a comment on this video. Plus, somewhere in this video is our mythology scavenger question. Answer the question correctly in the comments and you'll get an extra ballot for a chance to win the giveaway. So keep an eye out for that. Now, I think it's time to get to the creatures of North America. Number 1. Bigfoot One of the most famous mythical creatures in North America is Bigfoot, also known as the Sasquatch. Bigfoot is said to be a bipedal ape-like creature that stands 10 feet tall, has very large feet, and is said to inhabit the forests of North America. Stories of giant apes or hairy men aren't anything new in North America. Many native tribes have stories and legends of mysterious human-like creatures covered in hair that date back hundreds and hundreds of years. These creatures are usually very large and extremely strong with some said to be aggressive towards humans and others just minding their business. Depending on the region and the tribe, many different names were given to these creatures, and one of the interesting variants comes from the Salishan language that means wild men or Sasquatch. The first use of the Bigfoot term came from a lumber worker named Jerry Crew. In 1958, Jerry was doing his job in Humboldt County, California, when he discovered a humongous footprint in the mud. Other lumber workers told Jerry that they had seen many of these footprints around the area, and so Jerry and his co-workers coined the term Bigfoot. Jerry contacted a local reporter and made a cast of the footprint. After that, the New York and Los Angeles Times picked up the story, resulting in the legend of Bigfoot becoming widespread around the country. From 1958 to 2022, it has been reported that there have been over 10,000 sightings of Bigfoot. Most of the reports come from the Pacific Northwest, mainly in British Columbia, Northern California, Oregon, and Washington. One of the most famous reports of Bigfoot comes from Albert Ostman. He claimed that after a day of searching for gold, he was kidnapped and carried off by a Bigfoot during the night. He claimed that he was held captive by a family of Bigfoots and was barely able to get away. Some other interesting reports of the legendary creature have to do with the alleged sounds it makes. There have been recordings of supposed Bigfoots making sound patterns such as screaming, grunting, howling, and moaning. It is believed that this is some form of language. Bigfoot is an extremely famous creature, with multiple variants around North America such as the skunk ape in the southeast of the United States, as well as variants across the world such as the Yeti and the Australian Yowley. Multiple films, TV series, documentaries, and books have been about or dedicated to Bigfoot, growing the legend to what it is today. Number 2. The Chupacabra The Chupacabra, meaning goat sucker in Spanish, is a vampiric-like creature originating from Puerto Rican legends. The first sign of the Chupacabra happened in March 1995 when eight sheep were found completely drained of blood with three puncture wounds in their chest. Over the next few months, 150 animals were killed in a small Puerto Rican town, and then a woman named Madeline Tolentino made the very first eyewitness of the legendary creature. Madeline described the chupacabra as a bear-sized reptilian dog-like creature, with hairless leathery skin, huge eyes, and a row of spines going down the back of its head all the way to its tail. From then on, multiple sightings of the chupacabra killing livestock were reported all over Puerto Rico, and then reports began to appear in the United States, Mexico, and eventually all around the world. Since the report of the first sighting, the chupacabra or chupacabras have been said to be responsible for thousands of animals being completely drained of all their blood. Today, the chupacabra is extremely famous and is a well-known legend throughout many parts of the world. Number 3. The Jersey Devil The Jersey Devil is said to be a creature native to the Pine Barrens of New Jersey. It is usually depicted as a large dragon-like creature with bat-like wings, a horse or goat-like head, horn-like antlers, small arms with sharp claws, two legs with cloven hooves, and a snake-like tail. It has also been described to be very fast, 
to be able to breathe fire or poison, and is known to let out a horrible sounding shriek. The most popular origin of the Jersey Devil has to do with its original name, the Leeds Devil. On a stormy night in 1735, a woman named Deborah Leed, better known as Mother Leeds, was in labor with her 13th child. Earlier that year, when Mother Leeds had discovered she was pregnant with her 13th child, she cursed it and called it the Devil out of frustration. But that was a terrible mistake, because on the night of the 13th child's birth, what came out of Mother Leeds was no child, but a creature covered in fur and surrounded by two wings and a tail. Upon its birth, the creature shrieked and roared as it threw people aside with its strong tail. It then flew up and out through the chimney and into the woods. From then on, there have been numerous sightings, such as the famous sighting in 1820 by Napoleon Bonaparte's older brother, Joseph Bonaparte. When Joseph went out on a hunting trip, he found some strange tracks. Joseph said the tracks looked like they were made by a donkey with two feet. Curious, he followed the tracks until they suddenly stopped, as if the creature that had made them flew away. Suddenly, Joseph looked up only to find the Jersey Devil sitting above him in the trees. Frozen with fear, the Jersey Devil roared at Joseph, stared at him for a few moments, and then flew away. Other sightings involved the Jersey Devil being shot at with a cannon, as well as reports of the creature attacking a trolley car, a social club, and lots of livestock. In fact, so many reports were made in the 1900s that numerous zoos offered thousands of dollars if someone could capture the Jersey Devil alive. Number 4. The Dover Demon The Dover Demon is a humanoid creature that was reportedly sighted twice in the town of Dover, Massachusetts, on April 21, 1997. 17-year-old Bill Bartlett was driving with two of his friends at 10.32 p.m. when suddenly he saw something small crawling next to the road. At first, he thought it was a cat or a small dog, but when the car's headlights shined on the figure, Bill discovered a creature that he had never seen before. Bill described the creature as being four feet tall with peach-colored hairless skin. Its head was watermelon-shaped with two large glassy lidless eyes that glowed orange. Its head sat on a thin neck and body, but it had long bony hands and feet attached to stringy arms. The creature stopped to stare at Bill when he slowed down, but then disappeared into the woods before Bill could alert his friends. The second sighting happened later that night when 15-year-old John Baxter left his girlfriend's home. As he was walking back home, a figure came down the street walking towards John. Thinking it was someone he knew, the two kept walking towards each other until the figure stopped, causing John to do so as well. When John tried to get closer, the figure ran off. Curious, John followed the creature, only to stop when he saw two huge orange eyes staring right at him. Number 5. The Wendigo The Wendigo is a malevolent creature originating from the myths and folklore of many native tribes around the Great Lakes and Great Plains area of Canada and the United States. The original appearance of the Wendigo depicts it as a zombie-like creature with sunken eyes, lips that are always bloody, and rotting pieces of flesh hanging from its revealed skeleton. Depending on the area and the tribe, the Wendigo is either the size of a man or the size of a giant, with the ability to glow larger and larger with every human it eats. Over time, the Wendigo's description has been adapted. Nowadays, the most familiar appearance of the Wendigo depicts it as a gaunt humanoid creature with a deer skull as a head. In native folklore, it was thought that the Wendigo was the embodiment of greed and gluttony because they were never content with just killing or feasting on a single human. They were always hungry and always searching for new prey, and no matter how much they ate, they were always skinny and still always hungry. According to myth, Wendigos were evil spirits that invaded the bodies of humans who were either especially greedy or humans who resorted to cannibalism to survive. The evil spirit would then transform a human into a Wendigo, making them feel an unbearable hunger. While most Wendigos were mindless beasts, some rare humans who were changed would keep their sentience and ability to speak. Unfortunately, they were still malevolent creatures. 
But instead of mindless hunting and murder, these sentient Wendigos would take in humans and either fatten them up for a future meal or influence them. You see, the third way Wendigos were made was by spending too much time with one. Their connection with greed, cannibalism, and brutalizing murder can influence a human and eventually transform them into a Wendigo. According to a couple of stories, Wendigos are most active during the winter, and the best way to deal with one is by cutting it up. Spears to the body are useless. Only hacking off its limbs and head will get you anywhere. Hey, it's time for our mythology scavenger question. Here's the question. What is the nickname of the Loch Ness Monster? Make sure to comment your answer so you can get an extra ballot to win this month's giveaway. Now, back to the creatures of North America. Number six, the Thunderbird. Thunderbirds are creatures from Native American mythology and folklore with the ability to shoot lightning out of their eyes and create thunder by flapping their wings. Usually depicted as a large raptor, the Thunderbird is said to be strong enough to pick up and fly with an adult whale in its claws. In legend, Thunderbirds are the protectors of humans from evil spirits and the creatures of water, such as the underwater panthers. They are said to live atop a great floating mountain and are the bringers of storms and rains, which can cause great abundance for the earth and humans, or great harm if the Thunderbirds feel humans are breaking immoral rules. Their greatest enemy are the horned serpents, who want nothing more than to devour all of humanity. For hundreds of years, the Thunderbirds and the horned serpents have been battling out, and luckily the great birds of prey have been able to push back the serpents by throwing lightning at them. According to legend, Thunderbirds are able to grant people special abilities, and those that have visions of the great raptors are likely to someday be a chief. And there it is, I give you the creatures of North America. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like us to cover something from mythology, folklore, or legend, make sure to leave a comment and we'll add it to our video list. Well, that's all for now. Until next time on Wild Mythology.